Welcome to the first episode of Squeal, a series of videos I'm using to document my master's research project. I'd first like to thank SAE Byron Bay for providing me with access to their beautiful SSL 9000K control room. I couldn't do this without their support. My goal with Squeal is to produce a piece of music with a large format console using only internal feedback loops as the sound sources. The console therefore behaves as a subtractive polyphonic synthesizer and its built-in automation becomes a powerful sequencer. We have all the items you would expect on a subtractive synthesizer. Once you've established a feedback loop, this becomes your oscillator. As you can hear, it can range anywhere from subtle squeal to an extreme, what I call flatula and pretty much everything in between. It's called subtractive synthesis because once you have your raw oscillator sound, you then use a set of filters on a conventional subtractive synthesizer to carve out specific frequency ranges out of that raw oscillator sound. So here we have a low cut filter, high cut filter, or low pass, high pass. But we also have a four band parametric EQ, which offers myriads of possibilities in terms of additional sound sculpting. And then on each module, we find an expander gate and a compressor, which allows us this kind of interesting interaction. So if I get some kind of pulse happening here, I can get that pulse to control a second signal, which I have here. In such a way. On a console, you expect the faders to handle levels, a bit like the VCAs would do for each voice on a polyphonic subtractive synthesizer. But here, we can also configure the faders to control pitch. Instead of moving the faders manually, which might prove to be a bit delicate to nail that perfect pitch, mm -hmm. I'm going to let the automation handle that as well as cuts, aux sends, and a few other features like EQ on off, insert on off, which will really give me a lot of control over every aspect of the composition. So this was just a sample of the many different possibilities I'll be exploring in the coming 12 months. If you'd like to experiment on your own equipment, a word of caution, SSLs are built like tanks, and I cannot guarantee that you might not end up damaging your own console due to prolonged internal feedback loops, or you might fry your speakers because you had a sudden spike in levels. And speaking of spike in levels, most importantly, you might hurt your hearing. So I cannot be held liable if any of that happens now that I've said that. To protect my hearing, for instance here, I always have the master compressor inserted on the main output, making sure the levels stay safe at all times. If you liked what you saw, vote down there, go to my Facebook page, I'll be posting new videos pretty much every month on the YouTube channel and a link to them on the Facebook page. Write down some comments, ask some questions, and until then, stay safe, make some great music, protect your hearing. Ciao!